All right. It is early morning on January the 30th, 2014. My name is Iron Crow, and I'm going to play a bit of The Witcher 2 this fine morning. The Witcher 2 is a game that I have played to completion, though it was when the game first came out in 2011, I think, when The Witcher 2 was released. Started it up again. Uh, I have a much better PC than I did back in 2011. Wanted to see, and I also have 3D capabilities, which I didn't have when I first played the game. So I want to see what the game looked like in stereoscopic 3D, and what it looked like with uh, higher graphics settings. And I have found out that the game looks pretty dang good. What's really irritating about this game's graphics is, and you might notice it, the shadows. Like the real-time shadows on everything are very... They look like cloth. It looks like a linen-type cloth. And so it's, it's got vertical lines to it. It's like stitching almost. You can see it on the wall there by this man smoking. You can also see it on Geralt's face. It's really irritating. But this is just how shadows in the game look. Here comes the Witcher. Very unfortunate. Another thing that this game does is it applies a pretty heavy sharpening filter. Much sharper than I would ever use with the Luma Sharpen effect on Sweet Effects. I don't really like that sharpening because I think it's too much, so I turn that off. And I'm I'm just trying to keep an eye on my FPS here. Unfortunately, I'm not getting a solid 30. Right now it's only 25. And when I when I play this game without fraps running, 80 FPS. Which is higher than I could actually display on my monitor when I'm playing in 3D. 60 is the maximum. So I can get a very nice frame rate, smooth frame rate, while not so recording, but right now I'm dipping down as low as 22. And it does not hold, but we'll see if maybe I go out in the outside world where there are fewer characters, if things get better. So I think I need to talk to this lady here. I am. You've got to do something about that filthy business. The crook selling the poison is going unpunished. I think he's just selling incense. Incense is only a cover. People get addicted to it, lose their senses. It's like this tech. You must shut down that shop. Close the shop and the citizens of Flotsam will reward you handsomely. I'll talk to the trader. Now this is interesting because I actually did already did another quest that involved talking to this guy. For somebody else. Apparently, I need to talk to him again for these concerned citizens. So let's see what happens. Welcome to my modest shop. Are you selling drugs? They say one of your scents is a strong drug. Got a, a cup drug of tea here. here. Never heard such nonsense. A lady told me it works just like Fistech. Perhaps everything works like Fistech on that lady. Hmm. I'm playing a very intimidating Geralt this time around. So let's use the intimidation option. I have a feeling Laredo would be interested in this Maybe incense. Laredo needs to learn about your Laredo, incense. excuse me. I beg you. I'll tell you everything. Just don't turn me in. I've traded in incense for years. It, it was an ordinary scent. How could I know it would have such an effect on people? Anyway, I can't ban them from using it. Well, I have another intimidation option, so might as well use it. Lorito and I will see you tomorrow. All right then, I I'll close the shop, but don't tell anyone. I, I beg you. Okay, got him to close his shop up. Holy, sh he closed up immediately. What does it say? 
Really? All that? Just say closed? Somehow I don't believe it. So let's talk to this lady and then I'll explain what's going on here. Done it. Thank you on behalf of all Flotsam. Here's your reward. Okay, I got my reward. What exactly did I get? Oh, wait. What did that say? Oh, missed it. Scent of Incense. That's the other one that I did. Okay, Little Shop of Dreams. Reward. Glad in the eye and loaded the money bag nicely. Okay. Guess I just got some coin. Not the greatest of rewards, but it'll do. So what I'm doing here is just, as you can see, I'm already in the game. The thing about the first hour or so of this game is that it's basically a tutorial. So I'm barely past the tutorial. This is pretty much the first time you really get to mess around as Geralt in the world. So this is the very beginning of the game. I haven't done any quests other than the quests that involve just running around talking to people. I'm going to go to the Craftsman District and see about how to forge new weapons. Which involves lots and lots of ingredients like timber. Oh, welcome. Yeah, I'm only in 25 frames. It's really unfortunate. And the bloom on this dog's chest is just way too... Look at this dog, it's just glowing. Some aspects of this game's graphics are not that great. <gasps> what? A day like any other. Yeah. But this game was designed to work properly with NVIDIA's 3D vision. And fortunately, the game does not have... Okay, a bunch of stuff. Fortunately, the game does not have native stereoscopic rendering, meaning that the two views are not rendered by the engine itself and then delivered to the NVIDIA stereoscopic drivers. The stereoscopic drivers are doing the stereo rendering here, so I'm able to record this with Fraps. Any game that has native stereo rendering cannot be recorded with Fraps. That's just the nature of it. So that's not the case with The Witcher 2. I'm able to share this in 3D. So I don't really plan on doing a full playthrough of this game. I'm just kind of messing around with it. And I am getting a solid 30 inside of here. So that's good. 30 FPS, that is. I'm going to come out here, 24. There are a lot of people in the town, though, so... It's kind of to be expected. I don't have this on absolute maximum graphics. For that, I would have to turn on Uber sampling, which is... I couldn't run. Hey? I couldn't run Uber sampling at uh, in 3D at 60 FPS, and I do want to keep 60 FPS. But obviously that doesn't apply here because I'm recording. But as you can tell, I'm having some issues regardless. Oh hello! Looks like a mage. Miranda. Doesn't have anything to say. What can I loot from in here? Some celandine. Useless. Well, it's not useless, but it's not the most useful thing I could get right now. Yusa. Anything to say? Nope. Minute mech? Why'd you just stop talking? I don't get it. It's a dead pig. Let's go kill some monsters. Bad, bad idea, son. Let's go kill some monsters. Out of my way. Seriously, out of my way. I can't move. I can't get out of here. Okay. Whew. Got an opening. So, what I've done is... This game is actually a game that I can use my MMO mouse, which I've only ever used for playing World of Warcraft. This allows me to use my MMO mouse to 
do things like that. I created a custom profile for the mouse that will work quite nicely with The Witcher 2, I think. It will allow me to access all of my spells, which I normally would have to bring up this radial menu to use. So I can have them all at the touch of a button. I use a Cyborg MMO7 mouse. I don't use a Razor Naga. The Razor Naga I don't think would be do too good for me. Because I, I have gigantic hands. I was born with uh, massive hands. So I got to take that into account. And the Naga is apparently tiny. We're in Temeria, aren't we? Non-humans are to blame for everything. Cattle plague, higher taxes. Let them live. So long as it's far away and not for too long. So you have some, uh... This is not care. I would call it racism, but it's obviously not racism. It's speciesism. Speciesism sounds completely ridiculous, but that is a proper description of what it is. I don't know why, like, different species are called races in fantasy. Uh, fantasy fiction and games. Very bizarre. I'm mean, just going up here to see if there's anything to do or see. Obviously, since I'm playing this in 3D, this is going to be quite a treat. I'm not playing with a huge amount of depth right now, but it's enough so I can get a sense of height. Pretty cool. Let's go back down. Now, this game works properly without any kind of 3D fixes, but there is one 3D fix I am using. The game has locked convergence, which means that you can't change how much of an impact you get from the 3D world. I'm using a custom NVIDIA API DLL type shit thingy, and what it does is it unlocks convergence in pretty much any game that has locked convergence. Oh, and there's some stuff I can harvest here. And also it allows you to have key, key bindings for depth and convergence presets. So I, can, I created a key binding when I hold down O, my O key, it reduces the convergence to basically nothing. And that's not too useful, honestly. So I should probably find a different way to set that. That's going to actually help me. But you can see what convergence does. The, the maximum depth of the scene doesn't change. Like you look at the objects way in the background, they don't change at all when I'm pressing this. But objects closer than the maximum depth do get sent backwards a bit. And obviously you gotta be watching this in 3D to even see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so I plan to just kind of mess around with it. It's, it's early morning here. I can't be too loud or anything like that. Uh, so I'm just going to have a nice relaxing playthrough uh, of The Witcher 2. I don't see any problem with that. Go through, loot everybody's house. Very much advisable. You can at the very least sell stuff. Sell some of this junk. Get some orins. This guy doesn't have anything to say, and he doesn't mind that I just stole his goods. Now, when I first played this game, I did not have it on an SSD drive, a solid state drive. So, loading in and out of houses would take quite a while. But it's pretty much instant, thanks to the game being loaded on... Um, OCG is Agility 4, I think, is what I'm using for this. I have two SSDs in this system. One is an Intel 520, I think. 250 gigabytes. Ah, welcome! 240, whatever, I don't remember the exact number, but in that range. That's what I have Windows installed too, and that's what I have all my regular program files installed too. I also have some games installed there because I at one point ran out of space on the OCG Agility 4 drive, which is only 128 gigabytes. 
But this game, I think, is on the Agility 4. It's not nearly as good a drive, as fast a drive as the Intel. But that's okay, because this is exclusively for video games. For Steam games and Origin games and stuff like that. So it works out fine. You might want to stir it. I don't stir. I work the material. All right, so let me finally... You know what? No, let's, let's check this house. <laughs> this is what you can do. You can just loot everything. And that's totally okay. Is there it's expected. Mrs. Witcher? Is there a Mrs. Witcher, she asked? You Are you interested, miss? Mm. She is very interested. <laughs> ah, greetings. Well, sorry, but... I'm just here to steal your shit, not to settle down or anything. Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> yeah, stole one of our other brooms. Oh, tiny. Not a very nice day. <sighs> hey, now you sound like me. Yeah, today's not a very nice day. It is my birthday. It doesn't make the day any better. Shitty day is a shitty day, no matter what the occasion. Timber to loot. See if there's anything I can harvest. I got that set to my mouse for ease of use. Well, well. Oh, here's an event. I had an inkling, and it didn't disappoint me. It was a long voyage to this cesspit, but it's about to make sense. Old Test's killer, live and in person. How are you? Happy and healthy? I was jerk. Can't complain. I am delighted, really. But you see, it's a long way back to Vesima, and I'd rather not dawdle. I lost a load of time looking for you. No reason to waste any more talking, then. Bon voyage. Okay. Listen, Jester. Are you fighting, then? You're worth more to me alive. But if need be, I will take you back as a corpse. You choose. All right. Give it a shot. Drop your sword and put your hands together, or I'll not vouch for what... Shut up. Go ahead. Try to kill me. For a game that's all about choice, I'm surprised they don't let you, uh, choose to go back with them. Oh, shit. Now, I'm playing this on hard. So, I gotta pay attention. This guy out. Ooh. Got an execution. Nice. So I'm trying to. Ooh, shit. You got me there. This guy can block, so I need to. Oh, he bled to death. <laughs> and he's still talking, even though he's dead. So, yeah, that, that went well. That went well. So, in case you don't know what's going on with The Witcher 2, I have been mistakenly identified as the killer of the king. The king was assassinated by another witcher who was disguised as a priest. Can't go in here. And unfortunately, I was there in the room when the guards came. So it's. Oh, shit! That was ugly. Okay, here's the forge. Finally. Hey, boss. Look who's graced our smithy. That titan of the art of smithing can't hear us. Busy. Works a blur in his hands. And how are you, witcher? Things working out for you? Nice workshop. Bah. It's no workshop, just a simple forge. But thanks for the compliment, both in my name and the master's. So, how can we help you, eh? Uh, let's see about crafting. Uh, don't have a huge number of diagrams. Witcher's silver sword, I think. I think I already have. It's that exact sword. Superb leather trousers, I think what I have is better. 
So yeah, this is actually completely useless. I don't have any good uh, patterns or blueprints, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what they're called in this game. So let's see if we can buy any from him. Should be able to. Yep. Oh yeah, runes. Quite expensive. Very expensive. I only have 693 orange, so let's see. I can sell a bunch of junk. Not a bunch, but some. And they only... Yeah, they only got me like 13 orange. Ouch. Sword of Kangorn. It's only 89 to buy the pattern, so... Buy it. War balance dagger. I don't remember if you can get like these patterns in the world as drops or from chess or whatever. I don't remember. It's been so long since I played this. And plus, they've they changed a lot because I played the original version of The Witcher 2, but the enhanced edition is now what I'm playing. So some changes have been made. I don't think I need to really buy any patterns. You can also buy swords. I'm not gonna do that. Let's see. Actually, I don't have a sword, silver sword. So My let's buy that silver sword, which is silver sword. sword. Pattern. No, oh, god dang it. So Witcher's Silver Sword. And this this interface is ass. Absolute ass, by the way. Look at all this empty, wasted space. This game does have mods. Does have mod support. But it's, uh, it's not as robust as, like, Skyrim. I don't think that the game is as unlocked as Skyrim was. So you gotta go deal with the shit-ass fucking interface... Not a proper PC interface. No reason that stuff should be going off screen. I can't find it. Shit. It's not even alphabetical. Come on, Witcher's Silver Sword. I just saw it. Do I already? I don't have it. I know that. Actually, I do have it. What am I talking about? I need to make it. So. It's early here, okay? Forgive me. Alright. Which is silver sword? Shit. Need silver ore. So. Maybe able to buy some off of him? Iron ore. Silver ore. F fuck if it's expensive. Oops. I need I need to get my silver sword, so. There we go. Create. Oh, uh, I might be good to... Huh. It'd be good to just make a couple of these to sell. I mean, it's only worth nine orins. Just make one. Oh, that was actually a quest. Sword for monsters. My places stay as they are, and I'll know. All right, cool. Room is actually a weapon that you can use. Check it. I urge you to reconsider. The game has joke weapons. Calm down. I'm just pulled out a broom. This is just a broom, guys. I'm just gonna do some sweeping. You don't need to be like. See, they, that's what they do when you pull out your sword, but they didn't fix the AI to realize, oh, hey, it's just a broom, which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, paling, just taking up space, rusty dagger, taking up space, espadon. I actually like that more than my longsword, so sell that longsword. 
Superb leather trousers. I need to see if those are better or not. Whetstones. I need to add those to my quick bar, I think. I think I can. Let's see. Mage's trousers. Damage bonus on signs. Heliotrope sign duration. Yeah, I'd rather get some armor. For some reason I'm only getting 15, 17 frames per second on this inventory screen. That seems strange. To say the least. Can I put this in my pocket? No. But let's put the bombs and traps here. Yeah, once I come back to here, My it's back up to 30 FPS. And I'll not join your guild. Period. I urge you to reconsider. I don't give a shit about your guild. I'll not join that racket nor change my prices. My weapons are superior, and that's how I aim to keep it. Shame. Please think it over. The guild helps and protects, and accidents do happen. Hmm. Fires are common enough in smithies, and a broken arm can make it very difficult to forge weapons. Mafia shit. You're threatening me, dipshit. Piss off, and don't come back, or I'll thrash you so hard, even your plowing guild won't help you. <laughs> At your service. Well. Yeah. Equip that. Equip that. I need to get rid of this broom. So. Useful for cleaning up after a brawl. <laughs> Yeah. How were my other quests? The Necker contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For some reason it's not showing this as... I need to go to the Scholar at the Harbor, I guess. Just did a quick save. I don't want to lose all that I've done. Yeah, up top here is the brothel. You can't actually do anything in there right now. Unlike some other brothels in the game. So... This guy was actually down below, I think. You free? One second. No, working my arse off like a stagecoach. I don't know if I properly muted it or not, but oh well. Good day. She doesn't actually have anything to say. Strange outfit. Okay, here's the scholar. Give him what he needs. How did it go? Did you get the formula? Why wouldn't I give it to him? I have it. Show me. Here it is. Grand. I must check its authenticity in the lab before I can give you your coin. I'm cautious. Uh, uh, he's trying to screw me, isn't he? I'm cautious too. Give me back the formula. All right. We'll go together. I'll wait for you by the gate at the market side. This is... Kind of suspicious. I actually don't remember how this <laughs> how this goes down. Let's find out. So he's over in this direction. Is this the big gate? 
Yeah, unfortunately, some elves were hung earlier today. Yeah, here it is. Someone's snoring. Wake up. They're both sleeping on the job. That's. I mean, if one of them was at least covering for the other, that'd be okay, but. This is completely unacceptable. Completely intolerable. Yeah, I have a feeling this is going to be bad. Where might you be going? Uh, what kind of question is that? Anyway, know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. Hmm? The merchants are paying good money for killing the beast. Coin is never the most important thing. All about the money. Maybe, but it's still pretty useful. I don't trust her. Sheila? Why not? She's a powerful sorceress. Dangerous to her foes, even more dangerous to her friends. I know you don't like her. Any specific reason? I'm just trying to warn you. Thanks. I guess I'll have to ask her. How? We're going hunting together. Right after I find Cedric. Well, then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. All right. That's a good place to uh, call it quits for this part. I'm going to keep playing, so there'll be another part uh, shortly thereafter. I don't know if... Probably be uploaded, like, the next day after I upload this. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep playing, so...